This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. Can't believe it's the last weekend of January. Wow, where did this month go? But more importantly, it's the fourth week of our look back on 40 years of Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. There's been so many people, so many faces, so many changes. Let's continue our look back. Well, the announcement, how big or how small it may be. It's is, huge in our eyes. Is that uh, I'm going to be stepping away from the show. I've been involved with this program, Pennsylvania Outdoor Life, ever since its inception. And that goes back 20 years, which is a long time when you think about it. There are very few shows that last that many years on, on, the, on TV. Uh, After Stan Sola left Pennsylvania Outdoor Life in 2002, the search was on for another co-host and it didn't take us long to find Ken Hunter. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs, and joining me tonight as a special guest host is Ken Hunter. Ken, welcome aboard. It's good to be here. Looking forward to it. Uh, you know, I, I often looked at, at, at how I would introduce you. You are a former school teacher, an artist by trade, a fishing guide, a guest speaker at banquets. How do you want to be recognized? Well, I, I like all of those, and I'm not sure what I'm going to be when I grow up. <laughs> Best way I can describe it. Well, for right now, you're a TV host. How's that? I like that, too. Okay. Yeah. Ken is a very well-established artist and outdoor writer and really enjoys the outdoors, especially anything to do with fishing. And he is running, and we finally got one. Doesn't feel real big, though. Oh, is it still? No, uh, he got away. He got off. <laughs> Well, he's gonna, oh, I can't get him up through the hole. He's so big, I can't, <laughs> I got him. <laughs> I tried to shove him back down the hole before they cut it on camera. Didn't work. As a co-host of the show, Ken learned early on that on the opening day of the trout season, you give up your fishing rod for a microphone. Boy, it's just minutes before the opening day of trout season. The fishermen are lining up along the shoreline here. We are in Union County at White Deer Creek. And boy, people are getting their stuff ready. I'm watching they're baiting up with their favorite choices here. I see everything from minnows to salmon eggs to worms. And the moment is anxious as we watch everybody prepare for the first big day of Pennsylvania trout season. We traveled a lot together in search of new and interesting stories. We found ourselves at Raystown Lake fishing for rock bass. Ah, there we go. There we go. Nice. These are these are decent fish, Jake. I think he goes on the stringer. Get him before he jumps in a hole. There we go. Not bad. Rock bass in January. <laughs> I am over in Monroe County in the Pocono region, and I'm getting ready to go meet a gentleman who invited me out for a little hunt tomorrow with his wife. Let's go find out what's going on. Hey, hey, looks like I'm in just in time for a card game down here. Or did you guys start without me? Oh, that figures. They're always starting without me. Ken covered every aspect of the outdoors for us. Remember this rabbit hunt with beagles? Yo, Dixie, Dixie, yeah, in here, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, come on, whoa, land in here, get in there, land in there, good girl, find him, come on, Joe, Joe, come on, Joe, behind us, right over here. Okay. Yeah. 
one to the dinner pot. <laughs> he was right there. <laughs> he was right between my eyes. Everybody would have been looking at it. <laughs> Just as I was getting ready to say something, he landed right here. <laughs> and you know what we're going to do right now? Take it for a spin. Go for a little ride. That's going to do it for this morning. We'll see you right after. See you right after what? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you, you put your divots back <laughs> and you do the hokey pokey while you put your divots back. <laughs> Coming up in just a few minutes, we're going to take you to the big sports show, the Harrisburg Sports Show, and it's still not too late to get there. Yes, it is, because it's Sunday night. Oh, yeah, it is too late. <laughs> nah, 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 you can't take go. Take two. You can't go. All right. I didn't have any ice cream. That was hold that for my granddaughter. That was hers. Here, here's your ice cream. Just don't take it again. That's awful. Get that thing out of here. See, they're awful. They treat me terrible. We certainly share a lot of good memories together. One of my favorites has to be our steelhead fishing trip to Erie. On the fight, I'll tell you what, they're great. I don't care how many of these you catch, it's every bit as much fun the next time. All right. Nice. Okay, thank you, Kevin. That's a good You're welcome. Nice fish. Little male. You know, I'll tell you, look at all is holding that fish. And they were really good times with Ken Hunter. Ken Hunter's still the artist and the outdoor writer. Of course, we always enjoy ourselves when we take our cameras out to Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back. <laughs>